There's your two cents. Now, what are you going to do to me? Now look, my rude friend. We can't have people cursing at each other on the freeway. It's simply not polite. I'm just going to have to teach you some manners. Anything, says you. Okie dokie. Wallet. No, oh, please, don't insult me. Charles Michael Collins. That's you. Lousy picture, though. Lousy. Address, height, weight. Blah, blah, blah. Righty. Oh, chuckers. Here's the deal. I'll let you off if you promise to do a little favor for me. I don't know. I haven't thought of it yet. You just toddle on back to your mundane, meaningless little life, and when I need you, I'll call. Fair? Good. <laughs> Great. I'll be in touch. <laughs> I arranged another early parole as soon as I heard about Gordon's testimonial. Pooh! I ask you, Harney, who's given more hours of amusement to the Gotham Police Force than me? I deserve, nay, demand the right to honor our dear commissioner as well. No, no. Just an old friend who's dying to do me a favor. Charles Michael Collins. Oh, I don't know why you changed your name to Don Wallace and moved your family to 12 Marigold Lane, Springdale, Ohio. One might think you were trying to skip out on our little deal. Leave the sideburns. Oh, I never lost you, Jazz. You've become my hobby. <laughs> now listen up, Charlie Brown. Tell the family you have to visit a sick friend. Oh, and let's keep this to ourselves, okay? Bad things happen to people who gossip. Capiche, Carlo? Good. See ya. Jumping Jiminy Christmas, Charlie Collins. It's been forever. How are you, man? You look great. Lost a little weight. Lost a little hair, too. <laughs> Oh, Charlie! Charlie, Charlie, Charlie! So, ready to do me that little favor? Not to worry, Chuckers! As soon as you've done my favor, I'll send you right back home. I promise. Okay, Chaz. When Harley knocks on the door three times, you open it. That's it? Well, look at the size of that cake, man! She can't open the door and push it in all at once. Think! Yes! Another stunning Joker entrance leaves the crowd speechless. Let's hear it for him, folks. Commissioner, I'm here to present you with a small token of affection from me and all the guys doing 25 to life. Wear it in good health. All remaining 59 seconds of it. Toodles! <laughs> I never said alive. Sayonara, sucker. <laughs> Guess I'll need a new hobby now that old Charlie's. That came from outside. Rocco, Henshaw, I smell a bat. Quick, to the van. Okay, we'll tough it out here. <laughs> Ingenious the way they reconstructed this temple. Completely accurate, right down to the poison tip dots. The drop away floor is a nice touch, too. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I... <gasps> you miserable little nobody! If I get caught, 
Your wife and son are history! Look, Charlie, you've had a busy day. All this running around, all this excitement with... Batman! Stop! You... you're crazy! No! Batman! Batman! How long have you been there? All right, you win. Take it easy. Here's everything on his blasted family. Names, addresses, it's all there. <laughs> You're no fun anymore, Charlie. <gasps> ah! <Huh? laughs> oh, very funny. A million laughs. What? Compare me to Batman? I got more style, more brains. I'm certainly a better dresser. Oh, really? Well, we'll just see how safe your mansion is, you babbling bonehead. Did someone say food? I'm the guy with the goodies! Mayor Hill, I presume. Checko! Checko the Magnificent! Always gets the party a charge. <laughs> it's showtime! Thank you! Thank you! Where'd you learn that, Checko? From the great prosciutto! Now there was a ham! <laughs> well, there are three steps. Step one, run away. Step two, find a magician with a great act. And step three, steal it. Sure, birthday boy, I'm saving the best for last. Hush, you'll do what I say. Now, come on. Oh, too bad for birthday boy. This last trick is pure dynamite. Ta-da! It's a birthday candle, Einstein. Except this one blows you out. <laughs> now, scoop, you kids. Show's over. Go find some goodies. This trick's for the grown-ups. <laughs> it's time for Giorno to make his wish. And mine, too. Keep watching, and I'll... Uh... Get the birthday bread. So long, Mayor. Gotta go. But I left them with a bag. <laughs> Tea and tea with your cake, sir. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. Yeah, right. <laughs> The mayor declined, however, to confirm that his son, Jordan, is missing. Missing? You did what? <laughs> well, kid, you got step one right. Come on in. I've been thinking about her protege. From the great prosciutto. Now there was a ham. <laughs> Watch. Easy, kid. It's a trick sword. <gasps> now you try it. Hey, if it wasn't risky, I wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> huh? Security, my boy. You can't be too careful in this part of town. Well, if it ain't the Cape Coconut. Well, then, I guess your dad's not a total idiot. What do you say we play a little joke on Batman? You can be my assistant. Come on, this'll be a killer! <laughs> Check out the jokester! <laughs> Take a card, Batso! Take all the cards! Not so fast. A good magician always keeps an ace up his sleeve. This one always floors away. We bagged a big one this time. <laughs> Hurt? <gasps> Heavens, you wound me to the quick. The enemy merely slumbers. No doubt dreaming of more foul deeds to render upon the fair citizens of Gotham. But his fate is not for us to decide. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> Wake up, Batman. You're on. For your viewing pleasure, we present the infamous water tank trap. The great Houdini survived such a test. Dare we demand less of the Batman? Quiet, kid. It's a free ticket. They don't make straight jackets like they used to. I should know. That's just it. There is no trick. That's why they call it the finale. Now sit down and enjoy the show. Hey, come back. Naughty, naughty. You're making me miss the show. Oh, Jordan. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> what? Gotcha. Come here, you little... On second thought, I love the roller coaster. Too bad you missed the train. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> you win the prize, Batman. Catch the QB. Whee! Butterfingers. QP do beat up for Chewie. You just don't like to play with dogs, do ya? That must have been his stop. Smell the roses, Batman! That's my cue. Everybody remember where we park? When the going gets tough, the tough go shopping. Who says crime doesn't pay? Now this is what I call a sidewalk sale. The only things gaining now are the laughing stocks. <laughs> Trash the place. Ooh, I just love to get down and dirty. Okay, boys, it's playtime. <laughs> it's about time. Batman, you're a real party pooper. Why don't you take your mask off and have a few laughs? <laughs> Cut the clowning, Joker. Get him. You shouldn't have made Captain Clown mad. Time to take out the garbage. I just love these new Ziploc seals. We wouldn't want our little caged rodent to suffocate. So we'll just punch some air holes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Captain, give it the old heave ho! Oops, looks like our air holes are water holes, too. What a shame! <laughs> <laughs> I never knew Batman could sing so low. Well, Captain, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Get ready, boys. Here it comes. This'll give those April fools a lot more smiles per gallon. <laughs> What are you fools? Batman! Hey, Batman! <laughs> Looks like Captain Clown is really getting attached to you. You kill Captain Clown. You kill Captain Clown! Just for that, Batman. Hey, Batman! You sing so bad 
I can smell you from here. <laughs> to you. <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> Justice is served hot, Batman! You're going to melt just like a grilled cheese sandwich! <laughs> Service with a smile? Oh, that's a joke, right? Batman finally told a joke! is familiar, but I'm blanking on the face. <laughs> Boy, did you get a wrong number. Leave your message at the sound of the shriek. Ah, sunshine, clean air. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Why? Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> hey, bucko, I'd be a little more careful with the luggage if I were you. Otherwise, you might lose your tip. Not to mention your head. It's so hard to find good help these days. Hold it, hold it, hold it! Which one? Well put, Sardine Breath. I think we should pool our resources on this. Fifty-one million two hundred forty thousand six hundred and eighty-five dollars and fifty-three cents. Focus, focus, focus! I'm gonna use your head for a bowling ball, Strange. Bailing out of the resort business, Hugo? You're telling me? Come on, Hugo. Time to fly the unfriendly skies. <laughs> Why, Hugo? Why didn't you tell us about your fear of flying? <laughs> and people say I'm crazy. <laughs> say, is it hot in here or is it just me? Harv, open that door so we can get a breeze. Remember, it's not the fall, it's the sudden stop. Man, things haven't been the same since deregulation. <laughs> what a rush. Ah, oh, well, Arkham is nice this time of year. I want a nice, clean game, gentlemen. No kidding. He sure gets around for one guy. Now nah, you're always seeing double. Sure. <laughs> he could be all gross and disgusting under that mask. Uh, no offense, Harv. Not the robot theory again. Ah. ah. Likewise. <laughs> the fact of the matter is we each have an almost gotten Batman story. I know mine's the best, but let's hear yours anyway. I'd say ladies first, but since we don't have any, <laughs> we'll start with you, Pam. With exploding pumpkins. Oh, you will. But I'm saving the best for last. Gee, that's too bad, Harv. But I guess you'll always come in second. Anyone else want to go? Smaller words, please. You're losing croc. Not even close. You see, the thing you're forgetting is that there are all sorts of ways to get someone. Take my latest run-in with Batsy. It was just last night, as the entire country was tuning into its favorite talk show. Good evening, folks. I'm the Joker. Living proof that you don't have to be crazy to host this show, but it helps. <laughs> We've got a real treat for you, kids. I ran into my first guest last night while making a withdrawal from the bank. You know him as the Dark Knight, but we prefer to think of him as history. <laughs> Here he is, the one and only... Batman. 
we're back with my extra special guest. So, how's Robin? Uh, moving right along. You know, kids, we've got an item here no home should be without. The laughter-activated electric chair. <laughs> Yes, sir, the mirror's titter or guffaw starts the chair's generator revving up towards maximum zappage. Harley? But for a real demonstration, we're pumping our studio audience full of my patented laughing gas. These yahoos laugh at anything now, even the phone book. <laughs> Catwoman, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for her. Oh, but that's the best part. Once the chair went up, I was out of there toot sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kitty still wanted to play cat and mouse, never dreaming I still had an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> and by golly, speaking of aces, looky here. Now, now, no sore losers. <laughs> Oh, come on, Crockers. Didn't I say there's more than one way to get someone? Even as I speak, Catwoman is being trussed up at the Pussykin's Pet Food Factory. First thing tomorrow, I'm sending a lovely case of cat food to Batman. <laughs> Was it something I said? <laughs> Jingle bells, Batman smelt, Robin laid an egg. The Batmobile lost the wheel, and the Joker got away. <laughs> Crashing through the roof in a one horse open tree. Busting out I go, laughing all the way. It's a wonderful life will not be seen this year. In its place is the following. Joker here. Greetings, Gotham, and Merry Christmas. I hope you're watching Batman. This one's for you. <laughs> From Gotham City, the show that nobody wants to see, but everyone will watch. Yes, it's Christmas with the Jokers. And now let's welcome our host, the clown prince of crime, the Joker. Greetings from Gotham City, and welcome to the first annual Christmas with the Joker. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have I got a show for you tonight? It's loaded with surprises, mystery guests, and Christmas cheer. The Joker. <laughs> oh, Batman, I hope you're watching, because I've got a very special surprise for you. Rumor has it, Christmas is a time to share with family. <laughs> and since I don't have one of my own, I decided to steal one. <laughs> and here they are, the awful, lawful family. <laughs> Aren't they just the cutest family you've ever seen? It's never <laughs> easy with the Joker. Meet Daddy Lawful. Hmm, looks like I'll have to teach Daddy some manners. And here's Mommy Lawful. Ho, 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 isn't she jolly? And here we have Little Baby Lawful. Coochie, coochie, coo. I'll bet Batman wishes he had a family just like mine. Personally, I think relatives are a bore, so Batman can have them. If he can find them by midnight. <laughs> Otherwise... <laughs> Hi, I'm Laffy, Joker's helpful little elf. I'm here to present Batman with a very special Christmas surprise. Gee, Joker, it's sure nice of you to get Bat Breath a present. <laughs> I'm just that kind of guy. <laughs> It's an exact replica of Gotham City. It has everything, even trains and bridges. Bridges? 
I just love blowing up bridges. Well, in that case, let's go live to Donner and Blitzen at the President's Bridge. Greetings, Donna. How about singing us a merry tune while you blow up the bridge? That was great! The fun has just begun. The 11.30 train will be along any minute. Oh, look, Laffy. Mommy Lawful has something to say. What's up, Mommy? Your mother? Well, that's different then. Yeah. It'll be even more exciting when it crashes. <laughs> bah humbug! I hate Batman and Robin. Then let's get rid of them. Oh boy! Let's build a snowman. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Batman! I'm so glad you could join us. Oh, just a little holiday entertainment, Batman. I'm sure all the folks at home will enjoy sharing this special occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, live from the top of Mount Gotham, the death of Batman. When you care enough to send the very blast. We'll return in just a moment. But first, a word from our sponsor. Looks like we're experiencing technical difficulty. But don't worry, folks. We're still on the air. Oh, no! Our cannon seems to be out of control. Gotham City could be in serious danger. <laughs> Where's that bat fella? And that Robin fella? Ooh, they're gonna spoil my Christmas. What's the matter? Can't they figure anything out? Time's up. I'm rubbing everybody out at midnight. But wait! We have another present to open. Let's not keep Mommy Lawful waiting. Too bad Batman is such a party pooper. Maybe he doesn't know how to get here. All dressed up with nowhere to go. Well, I wonder what Mommy Lawful is getting for Christmas. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. Is it? <clears throat> Can it be? Oh, yes! It's a Betty Blooper doll. And what do Betty Blooper dolls do? Why, you just wind them up, and they wreak havoc on Gotham City. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save you the trouble, Batman. Come and get your Christmas present, or the kiddies get it. Merry Christmas, Batman. Well, go on. Open it. <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> run, run, as fast as you can. You'll not catch me. I'm the Joker Man. You're watching this. Oh, no, 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 don't want to. Don't look now, Sonny Jim, but the plant lady's gone whackers again. That's right, you're always blaming me, and the children wonder why we fight. I know you are, but what am I? Yavul. You hold my hand and I'll slug you. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. 
Heesh, Pammy, lighten up. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Mug preening fool, try to cash in on my image. Don't get cute with me, you red. He's ripping me off. I'll protest. Yeah, I'll sue. Then I'll rip his lungs out. And I will, too. Uh, I feel dizzy, sick, everything's spinning. Oh, need a doctor. Oh, Joker. <laughs> Hang on. I'll get Dr. Bartholomew. Uh, yes. Hurry. Please. <coughs> Sucker. What a maroon. <laughs> Exit stage left. Laughing all the way. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Step right up and play everyone's favorite game. What's the Joker got in the pail? <laughs> maybe a deadly poison? Or maybe just something to make the floor nice and slippery? <laughs> oh, I always did know how to make an exit. Ta-da! Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Peekaboo! Sorry, no riders. Now to treat Mr. Cameron Kaiser to a real blowout opening. <laughs> Jumping chimney Christmas. It's an homage to me. I'm kind of sorry I had to blow it up. Hmm. Then again, all work and no play. <laughs> Good evening, folks. The game is blackjack. Joker's rules, of course. <laughs> Ooh, blackjack already. <laughs> Lucky me. Don't be sore, losers. We're here to have fun. <laughs> Ooh, mercy me. Another blackjack. One might think I had an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> Try your luck, friend. Say, when I know you. Sure, Bruce Wayne. Ah, so this is how your family made all those billions. <laughs> oh, just a nameless clown shuffling my life away. Ah, don't care for the decor? Mm, who says you have one? <laughs> Why, yai, <I> yata. <laughs> Twenty! Whoops, time to cash out. Here's where I get off! Woo! Not bad for a starter, but the real fireworks are still to come! Nah! Ah. Whoops, coming through! Hot stuff! One side, please! Ah! I wouldn't take odds on this place lasting the night. <laughs> Kind of slow on the reflexes, eh, Batsy? That car crash must have taken more out of you than I thought. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Thought you'd like to be conscious for your own demise. I really put some effort into this one. Once I spin the wheel, you, the casino, and that strutting fool, Kaiser, will all be blown sky high. Not bad, eh? <gasps> eh? I hate it when you make sense. 
I'll settle my score with Kaiser man to clown, but that still doesn't let you off the hook. How about that, Bats? Looks like your number's up. <laughs> Yes, sir. It was a scheme worthy of me, Kaiser. <gasps> the way you got me riled up and turned me loose on this place. Yeah, but then I realized it'd be more fun to get rid of you and run the show myself. Oh, please, Mr. Kaiser. You of all people should have realized there'd be a joker in the deck. <laughs> Why can't he ever stay dead? <laughs> gotcha! Yes! <laughs> That's it! Chew him up and spin him out! <laughs> Actually, I'm Irish. Good morning, Mr. Uh, Francis. Please allow me to introduce my associates, Miss Quinn and Messrs. Uh, who? Their names escape me for the moment. No matter. We gentlemen of business have arrangements to discuss. For my fish, of course. This has all been worked out far in advance, Francis. You are merely the last tiny cog in my grand design. So don't speak to me again, okay? Now, what is everyone in town talking about? I told you not to speak! As I was saying, since every fish in Gotham now bears my famous and frankly fabulous face, I should be getting a profit from every fish product sold. Let's say... Uh, a nickel per fish sandwich, 50 cents for sardines, millions of dollars a day to finance my happily hedonistic lifestyle. So which of your tedious copyright forms do I fill out first? You may speak now. But they share my unique face. Colonel What's-His-Name has chickens, and they don't even have mustaches. Oh, trying to cheat the Joker, are you? Well, we'll see who has the last laugh. You have until midnight to change your mind, Francis, or you'll be the poorest fish of all. <laughs> Say, Mom, wondering what to feed the family tonight? Arr, try me famous joker fish. They're smiling smelt, giggling grouper, and happy haddock. Yummy, yum, yum. Eat it. Yes, friends, that's Jokerfish. Tasty, tempting, and of course, coming to your local store. Just as soon as that nasty old Mr. G. Carl Francis decides to give me my legal cut of the province. <laughs> it's on every station. Get a trace on that signal. I hope you've changed your mind, Mr. Francis, because I haven't changed mine. <laughs> this just in. Former copyright director G. Carl Francis will be taking an extended vacation. Looks like he's having more fun already. <laughs> but I'm not happy. If I don't get legal claim to my fish by 3 a.m., the number two bureaucrat Thomas Jackson will feel my wrath. And now, Batman, because I know you're watching, here's a message from our sponsor. Oh, look at what I caught. Kind of runty, though. I'm going to have to throw it back. <laughs> You may be a lousy cop, 
that you make a terrific worm. <laughs> He's right, you know. If this lunch meat figured out where we are, Batman won't be far behind. And why spoil my Sharky's appetite when I can feed him bigger fish? <laughs> Poor Harley. This caper's been kind of rough on you, hasn't it? Cheer up! You can be my very own little mermaid. <laughs> You're really sick. Mm hmm. Now, this fella here came with his own grin. See the resemblance? And check out my catch of the day. Yes, well, this is all tremendously boring. Of course, I can always amuse myself watching old Harv give my shark indigestion. Gee, and let my little guppy go hungry. I don't know. What do you think we can do about that? You're right, Harley. Fish are disgusting. I think I'll start using my toxin on cattle. Joker burgers! Ha! Talk about a happy meal! <laughs> oh, you never could take a joke! <laughs> yeah. Catch! Hey! <laughs> 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 Whoopsie. Since my side splitters don't tickle you, how about a skull splitter? <laughs> See, Batsy, I think of everything! <laughs> It's the kind of night that makes you glad to be alive. Right, Harley girl? Quick, turn here. I said turn! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me someone put a hill there? Never mind, just hand me the gun. Come on, come on! Hey, Batsy! This is where I leave you flat. <laughs> Uh, income. Oh. Let's go! Let's go! No, we didn't get the diamond. The Dork Knight showed up before we even got to the museum. I had a great shot at him, too. Except my dear little Harley Quinn handed me the wrong gun. Funny. You presume to tell me what I should think is funny? In fact, when have you ever contributed a worthwhile idea to this gang. Oh, huzzah! The kid gets lucky and she wants a medal. Maybe I should just let you run the gang. Maybe you're a better crook than the rest of us put together. <laughs> Harley! This place is going to blinking blue blazes. Anybody seen my socks? Harley! <laughs> <laughs> They snapped at me. What's going on, Rock? The place is a mess. No one's fed the hyenas, and I can't find my socks. Where's Harley? So, she's always come back before. Papers? What are you babbling about? Ah! What? Harley? <laughs> Honey, baby, pumpkin pie. You know I can't hold a grudge. Where are you? Sooner than you think. 
My, haven't you been the busy little bee? You were out, so we just made ourselves at home. Hope you don't mind. Hold it in, Rocco. I'm only staying long enough to collect what's mine. Ooh, look at the goodies. Oh, Pammy, I wouldn't leave you empty-handed. Since you like flowers so much, you can have mine. Oh, get him. Oh, Batty. Oops, don't be me. That's it. Next time I start a gang, no women. Do you hear me? No women! Welcome, Sydney. Please, allow me the honor of shaking hands with the man who did the impossible. The man who... killed Batman. Whoops! Sorry, force of habit. You know, there's just one thing bothering me about your story, Sid. No body. No Battis Delecti, so to speak. We need to pull a job tonight, just to make sure. Why, that old Batsy's bought the cave, of course. And one more thing, Murphy. Don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> Righty-o! Harley, you loot the safe while the boys and I set up. When the cops show, stall them for a while. Nothing too fancy. Just keep them busy until Bats gets here. Got it? Any questions, Murph? No, sir. Good man. And if Batman hasn't really gone to his final reward, we'll see that he gets there. <laughs> Where is he? He's never been this late before. There's a certain rhythm to these things. I cause trouble, he shows up. We have some laughs and the game starts all over again. Only now, thanks to you, I have this terrible feeling he's really not coming. Put them back, Harley. I said put them back! Without Batman, crime has no punchline. Dear friends, today is the day the clown cried. And he cries not for the passing of one man, but for the death of a dream. The dream that he would someday taste the ultimate victory over his hated enemy. For it was the Batman who made me the happy soul I am today. How I agonized over the perfect way to thank him for that. Perhaps with a cyanide pie in the face. Or an exploding whoopee cushion playfully planted in the Batmobile. But those dreams were dashed by the weasley little gunsel sitting there in our midst. The cowardly, insignificant Garneth who probably got lucky when Batman slipped on the slime trail this loser left behind him. This mound of diseased hyena filth who's not fit to lick the dirt from my spats! But I digress. The time for sorrow has passed. It's time to look ahead to a future filled with smiles. And I'll be smiling again just as soon as we take that man there and slap him in that box there and roll it into that vat of acid there! <sighs> well, that was fun. Who's for Chinese? I hate that song. Gasp? Can it be? Old Sally the Weezer the Lestra. Welcome, Paizong. <laughs> it's been a dog's age. Oh, Salvatore, why so formal? Me Casa Nostra es su Casa Nostra. So, what's an old-timer like you want with a two-timer like me? Ooh, business sounds like fun. Come, we'll repair the more comfortable environment. Now hold on to your hat and watch the valuables. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Oh, don't mind my home security system. 
down, Rusty. Can't be too careful with all those weirdos around. <laughs> what? Meatloaf again? Oh, I had it for lunch. Isn't Hazel here a cutie? True, she's a real homebody, but you can't help who you fall in love with. Ooh. Come. Have a seat, Sam. Oh. Tell me what's on your so-called mind. You know, I've been reading lately how old Guano Man is wound tight enough to snap. Wouldn't it be great if I'd finally driven him off the deep end? <laughs> this isn't a joke. <laughs> what do I look like, pest control? <laughs> don't touch me, old man. I don't know where you've been. <laughs> Oh, Sal, <laughs> no one could take a joke like you. Of course I'll help you out. Rip certain more. No way is anybody gonna hurt my pal Sal. That's it. That's what I want to see. A nice big smile. Oops. <laughs> Guess the joke is on me. You're not Batman after all. Looks like there's a new face in Gotham. And soon his name will be all over town. To say nothing of his legs and feet and spleen and head. <laughs> tisk tisk. And to think our tax money goes to pay those jerks. <laughs> That's right, Hearty. Bring in the press, why don't you? What a photo op! The councilman and his wacky pal. Oh, Hearty, I'm crushed! How the high and mighty forget! Don't you remember you, me, Sally and the gang? Oh, but you knew about it afterwards and put it to good use, eh? <laughs> what are you... To find out who's iced the old gang. Wrong! It ain't the bat. Nope, nope, nope. I've seen the guy. He looks more like the ghost of Christmas future. Nowhere near as cute as Bat Boy. Yeah, someone who wouldn't mind seeing our old pals out of the way. <gasps> Maybe. Go. Sob. Me too. That's when I thought about you, Arturo. An important, upstanding guy like you could find it Awkward if certain secrets were revealed about his past. Beaumont? Not the babe. Oh, you devil. Shh. <laughs> now, ain't that a co-winky dick? <gasps> we're talking about the old man and the spawn of his loins just happens to call. Makes you want to laugh, doesn't it, Arthur? <laughs> 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 Hello, anybody home? <laughs> Listen, Boopsy, even though you never call and never write, I still got a soft spot for you. So I'm sending you a fun gift, airmail. And there's no use jumping out the window this time, toots. The plane of the future is going to make you history. <laughs> Hello? Hello, operator? I believe my party's been disconnected. <laughs> Well, Hayes, guess it's time to call it a night. <laughs> what do you say, hon? Feeling the old electricity tonight? <laughs> Ain't it always the way? You get in the mood and company shows up. I'm impressed, lady. You're harder to kill than a cockroach on steroids. Gotta hand it to you, nice scheme. Costume's a bit theatrical, but hey, who am I to talk? <laughs> Very cute. But I can blow smoke too, toots. <laughs> nice trick, sweetheart. You could teach old Batsy a thing or two about disappearing. <laughs> You're a giggle out of me. Major look.
Well, if it isn't Smokey the Babe, just in time to meet her biggest fan. How about a little pick-me-up? without a punchline. Uh-oh. Okay. I give up. I surrendered already. Tell her, Batman. Mr. Prosecutor, make your opening statement. Proceed, Counselor. Record? Is someone supposed to be writing this down? What makes you say that? Finked on you in hopes of getting time off. Finked is such an ugly word. The witnesses excuse. Jury, you've heard the evidence. Consider your verdict. Well done, Counselor. You've proven that Batman didn't create us. That we, in fact, messed up our own rotten lives. And as we are so rotten, vile, and depraved, we're going to waste you anyway. That's all, folks. Let's mumbo! And now for the final confession. The big secret you've kept from us for so many years. Brothers and sisters, at long last I give you the man behind the bat. What? Okay, start panicking. What's your point? Yoo-hoo! Look alive, Batman! Here comes the judge! <laughs> Judge Joker, that's me. Well, how about nothing? Zero, zip, zilch, nada. My personal check for Bupkis, drawn on the First National Bank of Squadoo! <laughs> Sorry, boys, this lot is sold. <laughs> Whoops! You really should loosen up, dealer. Have a laugh now and then. <laughs> That's so much more pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
nothing like a moonlight dip, eh, Mr. Mayor? <laughs> oh, no ransom this time, Hammy. Oh, yes, indeedy do. Instead of taking you, the cops, and the Batman down separately, I'm going to blast you all at once! Send down the plane, boys! We're blowing town. Literally. <laughs> Some joke on them, eh? Think of it as the ultimate punchline. <laughs> <laughs> You clever little minx. How did you escape from Arkham? Oh, come, my dear. We'll get to a safe altitude, then watch the fireworks. Quiet, Brett. Of course, pumpkin pie. It's just that, well, here you are, so I can uh, save myself a trip. <laughs> what about them? I'll buy you a goldfish. Let's go. Why, you little... <laughs> Do it! <laughs> that bomb's going off even if I go with it! <laughs> you wouldn't dare. You don't have the guts! Not in a million years, would you? You're the greatest. Pizza delivery? It's on me. Not so fast, Chuckles. You haven't introduced me yet. Smiling, shaky rim shot. Barobo. <laughs> Come on already. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and germs. Hey, did you hear about the guy walked into a doctor's office with a frog on his head? Doctor says, that's the weirdest looking ward I've ever seen. Frog looks up and says, yeah, I woke up this morning, there was a big bump on my butt. Hey, then there's this guy who buys a new dog. He takes it for a walk, and the friend says, huh? I'm not leaving until I get that trophy. <laughs> you can't do this to me. I'm the greatest comic in Gotham. I'll get even. I'll ruin you all. And ye shall receive. Permit me to introduce judges Knuckles, Vinny, and Kowalski. They'll be presenting me with a trophy tonight. Oh, but I already have. These little microchips are a wonder. Remind me to thank the Mad Hatter if he ever wakes up. <laughs> hey, folks, you're beautiful. Funny thing happened to me on the way to the theater last year. It seems three no talent hacks tried to stop me from winning. But guess what? I'm back. <laughs> oh, such unhappy faces. Judges, let's cheer them up. My high octane landing gas will have you rolling in the aisles. <laughs> Not quite, Batman. I've got a new girl, and she'll really sweep you off your feet. Ain't she sweet? <laughs> My very own happy homemaker. <laughs> Not bad. Honey, why don't you show our pals how you clean house? In other words, mop them up. <laughs> Stay back. You're dumber than you look, Bats. It's not the trophy that matters, it's the title. I am the greatest clown this dismal burg has ever seen. What would the common folk do without my pranks and antics? <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> Quit rocking the boat! <laughs> oh, too bad, bad sap. You should have remembered the old saying, dying is easy, comedy is hard. <laughs> oh, you miserable brat! Get the stupid...
stupid thing off me. Look! Watch it! Oh, I think I'm getting air sick. No! I'll get you for this, Batman! No one upstages me and lives! Is there a problem, officers? <laughs> What's so funny, huh? I'll give you something to laugh about. Now you shall learn new lessons in fear. They thought they could trap me in a... Yowza, yowza, ladies and germs. Let's have a big Lando laughs welcome for your pal and his... Batman. <laughs> I'm delighted to see you've made it this far. But then I knew those other losers couldn't put you out of action. At least, not like I can. <laughs> He's nearby. All you have to do is get past my bumper cars, and the bird boy is yours. But be careful. One little bump, and boom! You're Quano. <laughs> Gentlemen, start your engines! <laughs> the guy's been a thorn in your side for some time. <laughs> if you click the existing game button, you can pick up the game right where you left off last time. But you'll never catch me. If you want to start over with a brand new game, click on the new game button. Better hurry, I've already got a head start. <laughs> Whoops! Better luck next time! <laughs> ah, think harder! But don't hurt yourself! <laughs> no one makes a fool of me! Ha ha! Very funny! A mind like a steel trap! Only it's sprung! Who's laughing now? <laughs> Hardy ha ha! Uh oh! Wipe that smile off your face! Oh, you're a riot! These cards must be marked! <laughs> Hi-ho, couch potatoes! I'm interrupting the toilet bowl to bring you my very special New Year's resolution. <clears throat> Starting tonight at midnight, I, your loving Uncle Joker, do solemnly vow not to kill anyone for a whole year. Which means I'm going to have to work extra fast to bump off a few more of you today. <laughs> Hysterical. As to who, how, and when, let's make that a game. A countdown of victims that will end at midnight, unless our dear Dark Knight stops me first. <laughs> I love New Year's Eve. So many happy faces. How's it coming, boys? <laughs> I really have to congratulate myself on this one. It's almost magic time and Batman is nowhere in sight. Of course, he does have that annoying habit of spoiling my fun at the last minute. So, I wisely stocked up on party favors. <laughs> Poor bats. That champagne went right to your head. Now you'll miss the big countdown. <laughs> oh no. Ouch. Good work, Harley girl. Now, what would be a suitable trade for our joke in the box? Ooh. For some reason, this just speaks to me. What do you think, Harl? <laughs> Or 
awfully nice doing business with you. Uh, Ta! What a pleasant uh, fellow. Uh, you! Lexi, old kid, do I have a deal for you? Ooh, rich Corinthian leather. I sense we are kindred spirits, you and I. Oh, there are differences, to be sure. Like hair. <laughs> but underneath it all, we are both entrepreneurs. Men of vision. We see an opportunity, we grab it. Am I right? Right. But in the past few weeks, I've had a run of bad luck. Bad luck that wears a cape. Thanks to that miserable, pointy-eared rodent Batman, all my operations in Gotham City have been shut down. But you too have an overgrown bully in long underwear. Which brings me to my little proposition. Pay me one billion dollars and I'll kill Superman. There's nothing near about that mortal. Besides, I've read up on your flyboy. I know his weakness. See? Solid kryptonite. Oh, you'll be Mr. Clean. I promise. Deal? Caesar Carlini, my old pal. Why, I haven't seen you since... Wait, I've never seen you, have I? You need to get out more. Not clown. Joker. I'm in town on business, and I need a place to hang my hat. But it would be so much cozier at your place. Like a sleepover. <laughs> Are you not Carlini, all that spicy food. You look a little gassy. <laughs> Adios, muchacho! <laughs> Holy guacamole. <laughs> Looks like you need a new leader. I nominate me. All opposed? My, you do live dangerously. Don't you realize you're moving in on Superman's main squeeze? See that he's street pizza. In this town, some flying fool could have caught him. Well, aren't we what? tenacious? Catch you next time, Brucey. <laughs> Think of it, Miss Lane. This rock is more precious than gold. One teensy chip will go for thousands on the collector's market. After it kills your flyboy. <laughs> half for now and half for later. You've got a front row seat for the story of the century, my dear. The death of Superman. <laughs> Amsgray Turnip, I want to talk to the boy in blue. She's right here, Superman. And she'd love to see you. Want to know where here is? Don't blink. Got the picture, Soupy? Come alone. No cops or little Lois dies laughing. More powerful than a locomotive. And just about as subtle. Ooh, I'm flattered you put on your Sunday best. Forget about Lois. Feast your eyes on this. <gasps> I don't understand. I had it all planned so perfectly. Oh, wait! That's it! Silly me. I forgot the acid. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Soupy? No steam left in the old locomotive? I hope you're taking notes. Not now. Get out! Pardon my hasty exit. We have a pest control problem. Feel free to expire any time. <laughs> Two for the price of one, I love it! And the best part is, you're all going out with a smile. <laughs> That's not fair! It hasn't begun, Soupy! I know you're trying to cheer me up, Harley, but you see, any time I blow a billion dollar deal, it really kills my appetite! Honestly, Lex, don't you think I feel bad enough already? <gasps> Harley? Can't we discuss this like gentlemen? <clears throat> Thank you. Have a seat, please. The lab was a perfect setup. How did I know old Bat Breath would show up? <laughs> oh, right. Like it's my fault. Look, I've still got half the kryptonite. I can still finish the job. But. If I have to cope with two men in tights, the price goes up. How you doing, slugger? Copy that, copy that. Suffering from propulsion envy, bat boy? Think of it as a welcome wagon, bats. Welcoming you to the nearest mortuary. 
<laughs> Ooh, this could be a fair fight after all. And who wants to see that? Look at all the toys. Santa's been good to you, Lex. <gasps> Ooh! A flying wing! Twenty times bigger than Batman's! And knowing you a hundred times as lethal... Joker! <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> don't you get it, Harl? We're being set up to take the fall. Somehow, Pooh, I don't think we're gonna get the chance to say much. True, but I see a delightful consolation prize. I love to personalize all my stuff. <laughs> Very amusing. I'm not a material guy, Lexi. No, what I want now is for you to know what it feels like to lose everything you have. Everything you've ever built. Like I lost everything to old Bat Boy. We have incoming Bats and Flyboy. A little distraction would be useful right now, wouldn't you say, Lexi? I think your toys can handle this by themselves. Besides, I'd hate to spoil my new paint job. <laughs> now, let's see here. Ignition! <laughs> How's it feel, Lexi boy? Everything with your name on it's going to be rubble! <laughs> It's always Batman! What you got in the way of that air missiles, Lex? If I go down, you go down. Which red? Ah, the heck with it. If it's a flow you want, I'm happy to oblige. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my eye! Sucker! Come on! Well, that was a complete fiasco. If we weren't so strapped for cash, I'd never have touched this job. Give me the loot. Me? You were the last one to... I thought I told you to get gas! Mm-hmm. Oops! Time to eject! Sorry, kiddo! I could only afford one! Sue me. Alas, the bitter jest of fate. The once mighty Joker without two nickels to rub together. Yeah, yeah, you're hungry, I'm hungry. Do me a favor and eat each other, will you? Dear sir, we regret to inform you of the passing of Mr. Edward, a.k.a. King Barlow. Ooh, that's good news, I hated him. Who, in accordance with his last wishes, has bequeathed to you the total... Two hundred and fifty million dollars! Woohoo! Good old King Barlow! I take back almost all the nasty things I ever said about him! <laughs> Bud, Lou, our ship is coming in, boys! We're gonna spend, spend, spend! And I know just what we'll buy first. <laughs> <laughs> no scheme at all, old bird. I'm free, I'm rich, and I'm loving it. I'm sure old Bat Boy is eating his heart out. <laughs> well done, kiddies. <laughs> Be that as it may, your grateful Uncle Joker wants to thank you. Here, stick this in your piggy banks. <laughs> Let the good times roll! <laughs> now, now, Ernie, mustn't be too extravagant. Besides, it's cheaper to hire a new one. Too fat, too small, too old. No. Whoa! Drown the kids and shoot the neighbors! We've got a winner! <laughs> Ooh, maybe I should have hired the fat guy. Ernie, take fake Harley here and show her the ropes. Sorry, the hench girl role has been filled. And quite nicely, too. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Seems to me I've heard of that little organization. Inheritance tax. Now. <laughs> yes, and if I don't pay up, I'll go to jail for tax evasion. 
I'm crazy enough to take on Batman, but the IRS, no, thank you. What do you mean? It's a plain old pack of hundreds. See, there's Ben Franklin's chubby little, what? King Barlow? He's on this stack, and this one. I don't understand. The gold, it's all fake. See, I always hated your guts, and this was the perfect payback. By now, you're probably out of... If I don't pay my taxes, I'll go to jail. But if I admit Barlow duped me, I'll look like a fool. Good idea, Ernie. Let's let Batman know I did it so he can kick my keister right back into Arkham. Dope. Fake Harley. Any ideas? <laughs> oh, who'd ever think I'd miss the real one? <laughs> well, well, Bruce Wayne. Join me. A bottle of your best, my dear, for my guest. I did? Well, that was so long ago. Well, gotta be going. Army car one, report. Good. Your police escort is waiting. No laughing gas, no grins, no way Bat Boy can trace this back to me. <laughs> hey! Keep the boat in the water! Ah. Ah, oh, it's been so long since I've seen the real thing. Hello, Ben. George. Abe. <gasps> no! <clears throat> no! My fortune! Don't be... I don't want to save it. I want to go with it. After all, it's only money. <laughs> so I'll let the taxpayers foot my bill again. Besides, it'll be nice to see the old gang. Harley? You... you don't know how happy I am to see you. <laughs> now, baby, I can... Ah! Explain! Ah! 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 Uh -uh. If you stick your nose in, it might get cut off. You can keep a secret, right, Connor? Uh. Good. Hmm, I have spinach in my teeth. Okay, let's start with that radar disruptor. And then, nice entrance. Either you've never heard of a door, or you just like pulling glass out of your shorts. Au contraire, bird boy. I'm just getting fired up. Hmm, that was easier than usual. Whoops, time to fly! Friends, do you suffer from that queasy, drop-in cabin pressure airsick feeling? Well, you should, because of my handy-dandy radar disruptor. It's guaranteed to scramble all radar signals in the greater Gotham area. That's right, friends. Thanks to this smashing new invention, no military or commercial planes can safely fly over Gotham. So, if you want to avoid unhappy landings, just send $40 million to me, the Joker. That's $40 million. Operators are standing by. And remember, don't send it airmail. <laughs> Contact! <laughs> Is that so? Bats in our belfry again. Ooh, something new has been added. A big improvement over the boy blunder. Don't fill up, kids. Leave room for dessert. My, she's a feisty little minx. And quite a looker, too. Hey, do I hit your kids? Oh, actually, I do. <laughs> Kill him! What? You should be sidewalk stroganoff. Honestly, must I do everything myself? <laughs> hey! Yeah! Houston, we have a problem. Oh, he did, he did. He'd never miss a show about me. He's my biggest fan. <laughs> but just in case. No, I'm live. You're dead. Let's show the folks at home what really happened seven years ago. I'll be Batman, you'll be me. <laughs> and they say I'm crazy. Make our old friends feel unwelcome, boys. <laughs> what determination! Give that man a cigar. Guess again, kiddo! How about that, Bats? You broke my face and got seven years of bad luck. Are you going to try for 14? Or are you going to raise that anchor man out of the ocean? 
I can't believe it! The buzz on the street is someone stealing my routine! Is there no honor among thieves? Mo! Lair! Kerr! Harley. Harley. Harley, I'm not in the party mood. If you really want to make me happy, find the plagiarist who's been stealing my act! Ugh. Sweet kid, but a lousy cook. Mr. Ah, J! Mr. No, J! Uh, you nearly blew us to Chattahoochee! And who, precisely, would that be? <gasps> That's okay, Pooh. I know you're a one-man loon. There's only room for one clown prince in this town. How would you like an all-expense-paid trip to Metropolis on Air Nitro? Uh. <laughs> Call him, doll face. I'll uh, get the car. <laughs> no thanks. I've had my windows done. <laughs> Step on it, Harl! Have a seat, I'll be right with you. Oh, come now, Commissioner. What in this miserable world is more beautiful than a nice big smile? <laughs> mm -hmm. My, my. This doesn't look good at all. I'm afraid everything will have to go. <laughs> I give the punchlines around here. Got it? Well, Batsy, it's been a hoot, as always. But I really must run. May the floss be with you. <laughs> Go away, I'm busy. Batman was right. That setup today was corny. Old hat. It's time I capped off our feud with his ultimate humiliation. Followed by his deliciously delirious death. Just shoot him. Know this, my sweet. The death of Batman must be nothing less than a masterpiece. The triumph of my sheer comic genius over his Ow! ridiculous mask and gadgets. Well, hold the phone. Here's one I forgot. The death of a hundred smiles. I'll lure Batman to a secret lair, then bang! Plop him into my specially prepared piranha tank. <laughs> The last thing he'll see are all those beautiful, hungry smiles as they rip him to... to... Oh, wait, wait. Now I remember why I scrapped this plan. Piranhas can't smile. Even my own Joker talks and couldn't get a giggle out of them. And by writing a tell-all book, think again. I put it there. If you really were going to tell, you already would have. You know, sweets, I like what I've heard about you, especially the name, Harley Quinzel. Rework it a bit, and you get Harley Quinn. It's a name that puts a smile on my face. It makes me feel there's someone here I can relate to. Someone who might like to hear my secrets. You know, my father used to beat me up pretty badly. Every time I got out of line, BAM! Or sometimes I'd be just sitting there doing nothing. Pow! Pops tended to favor the grape, you see. There was only one time I ever saw Dad really happy. He took me to the circus when I was seven. Oh, I still remember the clowns running around, dropping their pants. <laughs> My old man laughed so hard, I thought he'd bust a gut. So the very next night, I ran out to meet him with his best Sunday pants around my ankles. Hi, Dad! Look at me! Zoop! I took a big pratfall and tore the crotch clean out of his pants! <laughs> <laughs> and then he broke my nose. But hey, that's the downside of comedy. You're always taking shots from folks who just don't get the joke. Like my dad. Or Batman. Not at all. 
As a dedicated, career-oriented young woman, you felt the need to abstain from all amusement and fun. It's only natural you'd be attracted to a man who could make you laugh again. Anytime. <laughs> Knock, knock, pudding! <laughs> it seemed like we would live happily ever after. The traitor! No one turns stoolie on me and lives! <laughs> Boring. Lame. Not funny. Been done. Too Riddler. What? Harley? Oh, where the heck have you been? Hmm? Oh, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Batman, eh? Oh, you don't say. You have who tied up where? Polly! Excuse me, I'll be just a minute. Only if I do it, idiot! Except you have to explain it to me! If you have to explain a joke, there is no joke! You've forgotten what I told you a long time ago. One of the painful truths of comedy. You always take shots from folks who just don't get the joke. And don't call me Puddin. I really have to apologize for the kid. No respect for tradition. <laughs> Let's just pretend the whole thing never happened and do this some other time. Okay. Then again... This is a rather rare opportunity. <laughs> you know what they say, a bat in the hand is worth two in the belfry. I guess you're going out on a laugh after all. <laughs> Real funny, Batman. It's not much. It's nothing. Losers, all of you, a disgrace to the name Joker. Why, in my day, ah, brave new world that has such putzes in it, that has such yatzes in it. If you insist, so was I. <laughs> Oops, no, I wasn't. That's also how we did it in my day. You know, kids, a lot has changed while your old Uncle Joker's been away. New Gotham, new rules, even a new Batman. But now I'm tanned, I'm rested, and I'm ready to give this old town a wedgie again. I have to know you're with me. Will you say it for me one time? A little louder. Dee Dee? Boys? Bonk? Oh, right. Dead. Dee Dee, be a lamb and sweep out the trash. There's good girls. Your renewed faith puts a smile in my heart. What say we forget tonight's mishap and start over? Ghoul, my boy, we're going to need another system scanner. Who's got one they'd be willing to donate? Mm, nope. Uh-uh. Nope. Ah! Oh, yes. But think of the fun. Gotham, Joker's back in town! <laughs> oh no, your old eyes do not deceive you, Brucey. After all, who know me better than you? Ah, the new boy. Ears are too long and I miss the cape, but not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Woof! How's it coming, boys? Then I'll see you there. Time to go, Dee Dee. <laughs> Well, what's it gonna be, bad fake? A countdown of victims that will end at midnight, unless our dear Dark Knight stops me first. <laughs> Hello, Gotham. Joker's back in town. <laughs>
Don't get up, Bruce. <coughs> it's just an old friend come by to say hello. Hello, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> A bird in the hand. Hello there. Welcome to our happy home. Robin? There's no Robin here. Of course! That's it! You know, Bats, we've been doing this little runaround of ours for years. It's been loads of laughs. But the sad fact is, none of us are getting any younger. Quite right, Pooh. And Harley and I were thinking it was time to start a family. Add a Joker Jr. to our merry brood. We couldn't do it legally, but then we remembered you always had a few spare kids hanging around. So we borrowed one. He needed a little molding, of course. What kid doesn't? But in time, we came to love him as our own. Say hello, JJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Batman? No witty comeback, no threat? Then I'll provide the narration. I'll begin with how I peeled back the layers of the boy's mind. I'll begin with how I affected young Robin's makeover. Though he bravely tried to fight it at first, you would have been proud to see him so strong. But all too soon, the serums and the shocks took their toll. And the dear lad began to share such secrets with me. Secrets that are mine alone to know, Bruce. It's true, Batsy. I know everything. And kind of like the kid who peeks at his Christmas presents, I must admit, it's sadly anticlimactic. Behind all the sturm and batarangs, you're just a little boy in a play suit crying for mommy and daddy. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. No, oh, what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> if you don't like the movie, I've got slides. I'll break you in two. Oh, Batman. If you had the guts for that kind of fun, you would have done it years ago. I, on the other hand... You've lost, Batman. Robin is mine. The last sound you hear will be our laughter. Here you go, sonny boy. Make Daddy proud. Deliver the punchline. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> That's not funny. That's not... Make him one of us. <laughs> then Amscray pronto, kiddies. Things are going to start popping. You guessed it, bat fake. The disgruntled Mr. Drake is indeed in my employ. Took him a few years, but he finally figured out who ran the real winning team. This is one of Uncle Sam's orbiting defense satellites. Hyperion class, laser armed. Handy little gadget for shooting down unfriendly missiles or giving someone a world class hot foot. Think of it as urban tagging on a grand scale, reminding all and sundry that this is Joker territory. You're welcome to try and stop us, but <laughs> I'm not taking bets on that happening anytime soon. I'm gonna hunt you, the nasty tattletale. Ratting me out before I have my fun. Papa Spank! <laughs> Ooh! I'd better sit down before I bust a gun. <laughs> Catch you later, kiddo. <laughs> my God. Oh, I never get tired of that. <laughs> that flabby oaf doesn't even realize I'm using him as a timeshare. Beneath this puckish exterior lies the mind of a genius, years ahead of my time. In the weeks young Robin was under my tutelage, I used him as the subject of my greatest experiment. 
Utilizing cutting-edge genetics technology, which I had pinched here and there, I encoded my DNA on a microchip and set it into Bird Boy's bird brain. Here. Everything that was me has been asleep and all comfy and cozy inside Tim Drake's subconscious. At first, I had to limit the time I spent in Drake's body. He's not aware of what I do, chalking up any lingering memories to bad dreams. If his family misses him, I simply call wifey and tell her, the changes come at will now, and soon I'll be strong enough to live in this body permanently. Mr. J's on the rebound, baby! My comeback party's gonna set the whole town on fire! So where should I make ground zero? Gotham General, where our hero's dear little Dana is recuperating, or here, in the happy garden of Mrs. Mary McGinnis. I always think it adds resonance to a hero's mission to have some defining element of tragedy in his background, don't you? Ah, but the one and only kickoff point must be Stately Wayne Manor. Gone in a flash, before Brucey can hobble to safety or mount a rescue. Don't worry, though. I'll be hitting those other spots soon enough. Adios, Brucey. I guess I should salute you as a worthy adversary and all that, but the truth is, I really did hate your guts. <laughs> what about it, kid? Any last words for the old bat fart? Any last words for the old bat coot? <laughs> <laughs> Here. Ah. The end of the line, Snoopy. Ah. No! Oh, good. The beam's headed here. Now I'll have to start all over again. Thanks for wrecking everything, kid. See you around. Oh, wise up, Junior. Game's over! Right? You're out of your league, McGinnis. I know every trick the original Batman and Robin knew at their peak. You? What's to know? You're a punk, a rank amateur, a costumed errand boy taking orders from a senile old man. Still, if it's a woman you're a wanton. That's right. Better to run and save yourself. That's about your speed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? The real Batman would never... Oh. <gasps> Funny guy. <laughs> Impudent brat. Who do you think you're talking to? Shut your mouth! <laughs> Don't play psychoanalyst with me, boy. I'm not hearing this. Shut up. Shut up! Squirting flowers lame. Where's the A material? Make a face, drop your pants, something! Show yourself! <laughs> Stop that! Don't you dare laugh at me! <laughs> You're not Batman! <laughs> Come on, McGinnis! Laugh it up now, you miserable little punk! Laugh! I can't hear you! Tights takes the bait, takes a dive, and then we string him up and drop him in the drink. <laughs> Any questions? Hmm. <sighs> Baby, you're the best. Then, my dear, you're about five million dollars short of motherhood. Your crew break my fly back. Carpal bridge is falling. 
You molly coddling little twit! Nobody kills the bat but me! Like so. Yeah! <laughs> right! <laughs> yeah! Free, uh, Harley! A little help here, slugger! That Harley won't kill for you, can't kill without you! Daisy! <laughs> Seems like old times, eh, bats? You, me, a vat of chemicals? <laughs> I needed help if I wanted to murder a whole city. Sure. Harley had you wrapped around her little... whatever. But I needed more. That's where you came in. Ooh, good work with that one, Bats. Opening those pipes did wonders for this little burning down Gotham idea I've been kicking around. Ha! <laughs> I've met yams with a higher IQ than that, Wenchtable. That's the quietest way I could make as much Joker toxin as I needed. Well, that's the burning question, isn't it? I believe I can answer best with a small demonstration. Boys, show our road friend why Prometheum and Joker Toxin are two great deaths that kill great together. Ah, batsy old chum, back again. You can't erase all your hard work now. It's all flames and giggles from here on out. <laughs> so, no, no, no fair. Somebody kill the bat. I'll take care of Gotham myself. Well, if it isn't my tenacious little rodent friend, you're too late, bats. The autopilot's already set for a fiery laugh riot landing and pow! <laughs> Mix and match the chemical dyes. A chemistry lesson. A roll of the dice. My two favorite colors are worth a try, but too much mixing and everyone dies. In a coffin or not at all. <laughs> oh well. Kill and the world dies with you. Die and you laugh alone. <laughs> 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 Ha, 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 ha,
Now, now, we can't blame Ferret for being a bit disoriented. <laughs> so formal? Call me Uncle Jay. Everyone does. Such a sad story. You see, things got a bit uncomfortable for me back home. Thanks to a cranky bat, my cadre of cronies were cast in the clink. Suddenly I was set adrift. Not a friend in the world. Then I realized Dakota's just lousy with fun young people like you. So I decided to pop in and scare up some new recruits. Well, I certainly don't want you to feel uncomfortable, Ferret. Though it will be a shame to lose you and your power. But a cute sense of smell, isn't it? I'm seeing to it that he leaves us on a happy note. The heat is on, gang. Okay, boys, make Papa proud. You heard her, kiddies. Let's not be greedy. Uh, this is almost too easy. Fire's out, kids. Time to go home. How could he have tracked me here so soon? How? The bat, that's who. Here in Dakota. This little bird boy. Three? Oh, oh, yes. Including that drippy dry cell, Static. Shiv, old boy. You may have stumbled onto something. They don't know that we know they're here. And that is all the advantage we may need. You'll have to excuse my kids. They're so rambunctious lately. It appears you've lost the home field advantage, Batsy boy. Whereas I had the foresight to hire the local all-star team. I'm preserving fond memories of your demise, Batso. Something for me and the kids to watch when this green hair has turned to grey. <laughs> How droll. But since we're all anxious to get this over with, let's get this over with. You know how I love toys, Batman. Here's how this one works. Ooh! <laughs> you won't see that at the auto show. <laughs> Let's go for a double header, shall we? Bye bye, birdies. Oh, children! Uncle Joker needs you! <laughs> <laughs> Please, Batman, help me. Gotcha. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? It's done wonders for me. Oh, Lexi, I'm hurt. How could you have this little party without inviting me? But seriously, Lex, you need me. Maybe so, but I know something you don't know. I know how the bat thinks. <laughs> Batman. Really? I must be falling into a rut. You're not going to leave him like this, are you? Hello? He's still alive. Lex, Lex, listen to someone who knows. Don't wait. Do it now. Leave. <gasps> and they say I'm crazy. I told you. She's been down there too long. But Lexi, where's your sense of fun? Besides, it won't cost you a cent. What are you looking for? Bat car keys? Bat breath mints? Oh. <laughs> Careful, you in What? Showtime, everybody! Live and in color! The end of the Justice League. <laughs> it's no joke. There's a surprise hidden in your little clubhouse. And once your chums get there, kablooey! Popcorn? Oh well, more for me. Oh, he's going to miss the show. And the sequel. After the bomb gets your friends, I get you. <laughs> oh, they ruined the punchline. But I can still have my fun. Boom! Not 
funny bats. Oh, oh, come on, Grundy old pal. What's a couple of nicks between friends? Party pooper. Oh, hello, kitty. And they say I'm not a team player. <laughs> See, time to run. But there's still one unfinished piece of business. What? No fair. How'd you get free? You're despicable. Well done. Extraordinary. Ew. We'll have to do better than that. Let's see. D. D. Destructor? Demolisher! Time for that look. Why, certainly, Superman. Right this way. Oh, one little thing. Today's password? Right. But Wonder Woman was supposed to say it. Ah, ah, ah! Don't touch that remote. I know it's heartbreaking to have your favorite shows preempted, but look what you're getting instead. Me! And a whole truckload of mindless violence and wanton property damage. Everything that makes TV great. So stay tuned. You won't believe your eyes. Here's how we do this little tango. I've tucked away a great big time bomb somewhere on the Vegas Strip. Only the Justice League can stop it. Because if anyone else tries, I press this and kablooey. No waiting. Now, I know you want to see the big bomb hunt from the best possible angle, so... I've set up hundreds of cameras all over town. The League won't be able to burp without us looking in on them. And since every good suspense show has to have a ticking clock, here's mine. Oh, what were you expecting from me? A round number? Ooh! Our very first remote's coming in. What's happening up there, Cupcake? Uh, oh, sorry to interrupt, but I see one of our stars approaching the red carpet. And he's in black. Always chic. But here come the fashion disasters. I'm surprised their mommies let them out of the house looking like that. While they stumble around trying to find my bomb, let's see how the local economy's doing. Oh, it looks a little slow. Ma'am? Ma'am? Aren't you scared? Ma'am, I love this town! Now back to the boy in blue. Clueless as usual. Wait a minute. Harley, are you getting this? See it? Oh, of course he can see it. He's got x-ray vision. Silly me. Oh, woe is me. Or oh, woe would be me. Except this is Vegas, so I've got a card or two up my sleeve. Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's extra special guest stars making their world debut, the Royal Flush Gang. Jack! Ten? King! And, oh, Queen. Oh, dear. It looks like they're not going to stop the bomb after a... Wait! Him again. It's always him. Time for more of that mindless violence I was talking about, kiddies! No fair, no fair! Oh, you're breaking an old man's heart, kids. Stand up to them like I would, if I were there. And if I had superpowers, and... Oh, for Pete's sake, go back there and beat on them! That's more like it. But I'll bet you folks at home are wondering who these wild cards are. Let's go up close and personal. The tale of the Royal Flush Gang begins in the Arizona desert, at a secret facility, where five innocent children were taken after being snatched from their families by the government. They promised to educate the kids, give them a home. But they wanted something in return, because, you see, each of these kids was born with a mysterious power. Ten feels no pain, literally. And he's every bit as strong as stupid man. King's a real ball of fire. Jack's just a flexible kind of guy. Very flexible. And Queen has a magnetic personality. That just leaves Ace. Poor lonely Ace. More on you later, my dear. The government said it was protecting them, but what it really wanted was to make them into human weapons. And they would have gotten away with it too, if not for me meddling with the kids. I made an arrangement with their headmaster. He seemed happy enough with it, 
and so did the kids. They were so grateful for their freedom, they've stuck to me like flypaper ever since. The playing card thing was something I thought of off the top of my head. It made them into one big happy family. Maybe I saw a bit of myself in their psychopathic little faces. How could I resist? Now, let's see how Batman's doing. Will he defuse the bomb, or will he be bat soup? Gotcha! Ooh, now it's getting good. Wouldn't you agree? Surprise! This is where we change all the rules. There are 25 of my little party favors hidden all over the strip, and they're set to go off in... Oh dear, that's not a lot of time. Oh, thrilling, isn't it? The suspense is killing me. Of course, it's going to be the explosions that kill them. I was hoping someone would drown trying to disarm it. Say, lovey. The good news is it looks like the bat is getting warm. Getting warm, I said. He's next to a volcano! <laughs> That's enough. Nobody likes a brown nose. While there's a break in the action, let's see who the odds makers favor. Much as I hate to miss any of Batman's whooping, Flash has found one of my party favors. Let's see if he's as stupid as he looks. I wouldn't do that if I were you. The bomb's got a motion detector. If you try to move it, it'll blow. You have to defuse it to take it out of play. No cheating. Maybe I'm lying. Try me. Spoil sport. What do you say we catch up to the big blue buffoon? While they duke it out, let's go over to Amos Fortune's Casino and Resort, where Green Lantern has found another bomb. I can't believe he didn't suspect a trap. See what happens when you don't watch enough television? Phew, is it just me, or is there something going on between those two? Will Green Lantern ever admit to his feelings? Will Hawkgirl ever stop sublimating her passions with that big honking mace? Will true love conquer all? Not on my show. Ooh, medical drama. Life and death stakes, compelling human conflict. Ratings. Enough with the mushy stuff. It's time for Super Ham's close-up. A person could really learn to hate that guy. Let's go back to watching Green Lantern Crow. That should cheer me up. Oh, this'll never do. Harley, come in for a nice tight shot of Batman. Lower. Lower. Ooh. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Let's move on, shall we? Ah, yes. By my count, the Justice League has disarmed or disabled all but one of my bombs. I still don't think they're going to make it, though. Much as I'd enjoy watching my boys pummel the Flash, I've learned from hard experience that it always pays to keep an eye on Bat Guano. Have to admit, didn't see that one coming. Oh, look at the time! We don't want to miss the big finish. Even you can't disarm one of my bombs in time. What kind of a retort is that? You're not even trying. Not the blue one! You blow us all to smithereens! Seriously, you were right. Cut the black one. I mean the red one. No blue. That's it. Black and yellow stripe, but no way. Green. What just happened? Get me an instant replay. Super slow motion. Hmm. Huh. Was well, that, that great or what? what? Let's that give a big hand, hand to the Justice, Justice League for foiling my bomb plot. Come on! You know, our show was picked up by all the news channels. And the last 15 minutes or so has been running on the broadcast networks. According to my projections, we've got somewhere between 60 and 70 million people watching right now. And that was the point all along. This whole thing was a stunt to get as many of you watching as possible. And it worked! My royal flush gang provided the conflict, the Justice League brought the star power. And I brought the shocking surprise ending. Everyone watching the show right now is witness to my greatest joke ever. In just over five minutes, you'll all be hopelessly, incurably insane. Can't stop looking, can you? I wish I could say it's my animal magnetism, but it's really my little ace in the hole. Different, they called her. Some even said she was a monster. Is this a monster? I ask you. Uh, purely rhetorically, of course. Condemned for something she could barely comprehend. Our little A soon found herself a guest of the government. But even they were afraid of her strange power. Fortunately for them, their nasty little headband made her as harmless as a drowned kitten. 
My poor, poor AC. All your life, people have been recoiling in fear from you. Oh, can I relate. Maybe that's why I'm the only one who's never been scared of you. You see, Ace can send out thought waves that alter perception. But enough with the jargon. She can make you crazy just by looking at you. In person or on TV. Even as I speak, millions of you slack-jawed couch potatoes are losing your grip on reality. Which, in my opinion, is highly overrated anyway. But you can't look away, even though you know something's terribly wrong. And the best part? I'm immune to all this because I'm already crazy. Turn it up, baby. It's only a matter of time now. A few more minutes and millions of people are going to go... And it's all because of you. The best sidekick a homicidal maniac ever had. Harley! Wait! Wait! We can't let everything we have be ruined by a silly misunderstanding. That we're two of a kind. That you'll always come back to me. Like the swallows in Capistrano. And there's one other thing you're not getting. That you led Batman right to my doorstep! <laughs> Tough love! Very effective, don't you think so, Batman? You who? Batman? I know you're up there. Oh! Oh, there you are. AC, why don't you give him a piece of your mind? Turn up the juice! Oh, how I've waited for this! Big old bats has fallen down on the ground. Mind on sound! Big old bats has fallen down. I'm so happy! I've never seen you this determined, bats. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Hmm, nice hat. Just, just a souvenir, that's all. Give me that! I'm not oh. afraid. Wait! Please! Don't do this! That's my little AC. Everything's going to be... Joker here! I've taken control of the airwaves tonight to bring you some killer programming! <laughs> All these years, I've been trying to put a smile on those sour, boring little faces of yours. But some of you just don't seem to be getting the joke. Well, that ends tonight. There's enough of my Joker brand gas canisters hidden around town to guarantee Gotham's giggling doom. Two-Face and his band of dupes saw to that, courtesy of a little tech support from the Riddler. The canisters will all go off in just a few short minutes. So until then, I recommend you wait calmly in your homes. Or run screaming through the streets in a hopeless panic. Your choice. Just remember, deep breaths, people. You don't want to miss out on all the fun. <laughs> well, well. Looks like you've deactivated one of my canisters. So how about I blow up a bridge? Hit it, boys! Oh, look! And here's the 9.30 train coming over snowy Gotham Pass. Too bad they didn't get the memo about the bridge being out. <laughs> Better hurry if you want to save them. <laughs> Batman and his irritating friends have deactivated one of my canisters. I thought I'd prepare a little surprise for everyone who might be coming to Gotham by ship. Might not be the welcome basket they were expecting, but I'm sure it'll put a smile on their faces. That's me, thoughtful Mr. Generous. Welcome back to Late Night with the Joker. Our next guest is phoning in. Why, it's my psycho sweetie, Harley Quinn. Harley, dear, can you tell our viewers where you're calling from? 
The big house, eh? And just what are you planning to do there, pray tell? <laughs> oh, dear me! That will certainly play havoc with Batman and his friends. Let's listen in. And there you have it, folks. One more thing for Batman and his gang to worry about while the clock ticks down. We interrupt this regularly scheduled pandemonium to bring you breaking news from Joker Central Broadcasting. It seems Batman's stupor friends are racing around town trying to beat my countdown. Woohoo! Let's see if they'll race twice as fast if I remove half the remaining time. <laughs> Tick tock, people! Joker here, dropping a line! Seems Batman has disabled another one of my gas canisters. But don't think that means you're off the hook. <laughs> Speaking of lines and hooks, I've gone ahead and released a liquid form of my Joker toxin into the river. Why, you ask? Well, you know. Just for the halibut. <laughs> Get it? Attractive little beauties, aren't they? Rather remind me of a handsome certain someone. <laughs> oh, but that's just me. Fishing for compliments. <laughs> Take a good look, folks. Soon the lot of you will look just like this. Double, double, toil and trouble. Back, back, burn. Robin I see how my little chemistry experiments are brewing. Watch out. The fumes in this place are enough to make your head spin. <laughs> I've been cooking up a special surprise. You want to lick the bowl? <laughs> no taste until it's done. <laughs> Run along now. Watched bat never boils. But don't worry, I'll be seeing you all soon enough. <laughs> well, well. Looks like you've tracked me down to my secret lair. I'm sorry I can't be here to greet you in person, and that those gas canisters placed around the city were just red herrings. <laughs> Guess what, bat breath? The real laughing gas was right here at the chemical plant all this time. And it's about to go off in three, two, one. That's right, Batman. There's nothing you can do to stop it. You get to witness the end of Gotham while you roll there giggling helplessly. It's your total humiliation at my hands, Batman. And the ultimate triumph of my sheer comic genius. Well... I'd gloat more, but I've got to run. And you've got to writhe in hilarious agony. <laughs> Ta-ta, Batsy! Who's got the last laugh now? What? No! Oh, my lovely, lovely laughing gas! <laughs> All those beautiful smiles. You people are just no fun at all. And you up there, flitting about in the bat crate. You think you're pretty clever, don't you, my high-flying friend? Harley! Revenge! Release the exploding balloons! <laughs> ha! You foiled my plot, but you'll never find me! So long, suckers! You might as well be blind as a bat! <laughs> Nero fiddled while Rome burned, so Joker juggles while Gotham steams. Hey, Bats, did you hear the one about the seasick juggler? <laughs> Good one. And people say you can't tell a joke. I think you mean knee slappers. Oh, why must it always end like this, Batman? Me with the city on the brink of destruction, and you swooping in on some sort of rope or cable or utility hang glider? You're stealing my punchlines, Batman. Here, take them all, why don't you? Here's a few of my greatest hits! <laughs> Inconceivable! Oh, come on, Batsy. How's about you let me win just this once? Pretty please, old buddy, old pal. No, huh? 
Okay then, I'll settle for finishing you! Avenge me, Batman! Beat up my tailor! <laughs>